A Different World is an American sitcom and a spin-off of The Cosby Show that aired for six seasons on NBC from September 24, 1987 to July 9, 1993. The series originally centered on Denise Huxtable Lisa Bonnet and the life of students at Hillman College, a fictional historically black college in Virginia. It was inspired by student life at historically black colleges and universities. After Bonnet's departure in the first season, the remainder of the series primarily focused more on Southern Belle Whitley Gilbert Jasmine Guy and math whiz Dwayne Wayne Kadeem Hardison. Topic. Concept While it was a spin-off from The Cosby Show, A Different World typically addressed issues that were avoided by The Cosby Show writers race and class relations, or the Equal Rights Amendment. One episode that aired in 1990 was one of the first American network television episodes to address the HIV, AIDS epidemic. The original premise was to have a white student there and have Lena Horne as an acting teacher, but in production, the premise changed from being a story about a white girl in a black college to a black girl Denise Huxtable in a black college with a white friend. It was ultimately decided that Denise, who was of college age, would be spun off and have a white roommate in order to show the dynamic of a white girl in predominantly black surroundings. Meg Ryan was originally cast for this role, but she decided to pursue a film career, so Marisa Tomei was cast. The first season of Hillman's student body consisted of both black and white students, but this was changed at the beginning of the second season and a very predominantly black student body maintained until the series ended. Season 2 changes After the first season, it came to Cosby's and the producers' attention that the series was not accurately portraying a historically black college and life on campus, so Debbie Allen, an alumna of Howard University, was hired as the chief creative force to revamp the show. During the summer of 1988, Lisa Bonnet announced that she and husband Lenny Kravitz were having a baby. Allen was in favor of having a young pregnant student in the show, but Cosby said that Lisa Bonnet may be pregnant but not Denise Huxtable. It was felt that viewers would not accept Denise as an unwed mother, having grown to know her as a good girl after four seasons of The Cosby Show. Thus it was decided that Denise would drop out of Hillman, return home to her family, and eventually travel to Africa throughout the fifth season of The Cosby Show, ensuring that viewers would not see a pregnant Denise. Allen was also in favor of keeping Tomei, as she herself recalls a white student at Howard and wanted to relate that in the show and even had possible premises for her character, such as meeting Dwayne's parents and seeing the other side of racism. However, Tomei left the show, and she and Maria Elise Rikasner were replaced by Cree Summer and Charnelle Brown, respectively. Daryl M. Bell and Sinbad were promoted to the principal cast, and Glyn Terman and Lou Myers were added as supporting cast members. These changes led to the placement of Whitley and Duane at the center of a wider ensemble, dealing with more relevant issues of the day. <laughs> cast and characters Topic. Main cast Topic. Recurring Corey Tyler as Terence Taylor Seasons 4 and 5 Patrick Malone as Terrell Walker Season 6 Bumper Robinson as Dorian Hayward Season 6 
Michael Ralph as Spencer Boyer, season six, various characters, seasons four and five. Gary Dorden as Shazazulu, seasons five and six, guest starring in episode eighty-six. Marie Elise Rikasner as Millie, season one. Andrew Lowry as Matthew, Freddie's cousin, Kim's boyfriend, season four. Kim Wayans as Allison, season one. Elisa Guys Dickens as Kinu Owens, Dwayne's girlfriend, nine episodes. Jennifer Lewis as Dean Dorothy Dandridge Davenport, nine episodes. Diahan Carroll as Marion Gilbert, Whitley's mother, seven episodes. Patty LaBelle as Adele Wayne, Dwayne's mother, seven episodes. Roger Genver Smith as Professor. Howard Randolph, season four. Rosalind Cash as Dean Hughes, four episodes. Ron O'Neill as Mercer Gilbert, Whitley's father, four episodes. Phylicia Rashad as Claire Huxtable, four episodes. Janelle Green as Dashawn Curtis, four episodes. Bill Cosby as Cliff Huxtable, three episodes. Keisha Knight Pulliam as Rudy Huxtable, three episodes. Robert Guillaume as Dean Winston and Professor Murphy, history professor, Kim's medical professor, three episodes. Harold Sylvester as Woodson Wayne, Dwayne's father, three episodes. Malcolm Jamal Warner as Theo Huxtable, two episodes. Topic guest stars Vanessa Bell Calloway as Lily Connors, season three, episode eighteen, and Jaleesa's sister Danielle, season four, episode eighteen. Tisha Campbell Martin as Josie Webb, two episodes. Nesta Carbonell as Malik Velasquez, Whitley's mother's hired boyfriend, two episodes. Art Evans as Mr. Johnson, Ron's father, two episodes. IMX as Whitley's students, two episodes. Richard Ram Country as Clinton Reese, Kim's father, season three, episodes eight and nine. Halle Berry as Jacqueline, Ron's girlfriend, season four, episode fifteen. The boys as mice, two men, singing group, season five, episode thirteen. Dean Kane as Brian, A and M University student, season five, episode fourteen. Wayne Faderman as A and M Wolf, season five, episode fourteen. Ernie Sabella as Campus Security, season five, episode fourteen. En Vogue as Faith, Hope, Charity, and Henrietta, Mister. Gaines Nieces, Season 6, Episode 16 Whoopi Goldberg as Dr. Jordan, Professor, Season 4, Episode 24 David Allen Greer as Professor Byron Walcott, Season 1, Episode 9 James Avery as Bola, Season 3, Episode 4 Alfonso Ribeiro as Zach Duncan, prospective freshman, season three, episode nineteen. Heavy D as himself, season three, episode six. Lena Horn as herself, season six, episode twenty-five. Jesse Jackson as himself, season two, episode twenty-one. Trina McGee as Jennifer, season five, episode eighteen. Candy Alexander as Thersa Stone, Season 2, Episode 21. Gladys Knight as herself, Season 2, Episode 5. Chris Cross as Dwayne's Juvenile Mentees, Season 6, Episode 11. Tupac Shakur as Piccolo, Season 6, Episode 23. Oba Babatunde as Frank, Season 3, Episode 22. Blair Underwood as Zelma Collier, season four, episode fourteen. Billy D. Williams as Langston Page, landlord, season six, episode twenty-three. Thomas Michael Ford as Lamar Vinson, Jaleesa's ex-husband, season two, episode seventeen. Raven Simone as Olivia Kendall, Denise's stepdaughter, season three, episode five. 
Topic: Notable episodes. In season 1, the episode Rudy and the Snow Queen marks the beginning of the softening of Whitley's image as a spoiled troublemaker at Hillman. Denise's kid sister Rudy Keisha Knight -Pulliam visits Hillman and becomes smitten with Whitley. Flattered at the attention, Whitley befriends the little girl, but when it becomes clear that she's trumping Denise as a role model, Whitley has a change of heart, steps back and gently persuades Rudy to return to her sister. In season two, the episode titled, No Means No, deals with date rape. Freddie has a crush on Hillman's new top-notch baseball star Garth Parks, played by Tymac. Dwayne hears Garth discuss a disturbing incident involving another woman. Dwayne goes to Walter Sinbad for advice, and Walter tells him about date rape. Dwayne tries to warn Freddie, but she does not believe Garth would do such a thing. Later at a dance, Garth goes off alone with Freddie and attempts to rape her, but Dwayne finds them and fights Garth. At the end of the episode, Walter takes Garth to the police station for his assault on Freddie and the rape of the other woman. In January 1991, seven days before the beginning of Operation Desert Storm, Blair Underwood guest starred in the episode, War and Peace. Written by Jasmine Guy and Dominic Hoffman about the impending Persian Gulf War. A Different World became the first situation comedy to address this topic, and War and Peace was one of the highest rated episodes of season four. In the season four episode, Misunderstanding. Hillman student Shazza Zulu Gary Dorden peddles a book he has written and self-published that is highly critical of African-American men and their allegedly sexist behavior. The episode is based on the controversy surrounding the book The Blackman's Guide to Understanding the Black Woman Sick. This book, written by controversial African-American author Shahrazad Ali, blamed many of the problems within the black family and the black community on African-American women. Although many black women found the book highly offensive and intellectually deficient, African-American men purchased hundreds of thousands of copies in 1989 and 1990, leading to a temporary rift between many African-American men and women. Ali's book is mentioned specifically in the 1990 episode, Time Keeps on Slippin', where Ron suggests putting it in the time capsule to represent a female point of view, but is shouted down by the women in the group. The season 5 episode, Mammy Dearest, addresses two subjects almost never discussed on prime time television, the Mammy image and its negative effect upon African Americans' sense of beauty and self-worth, and the little-known fact that some well-to-do African Americans actually owned slaves themselves. Kim is disheartened with the display of several Mammy dolls in a cultural exhibit, while Whitley learns that some of her African American ancestors were slave owners. In some regions of the U.S., blacks owning black slaves or relatives would ensure that they would not be sold to leave the town. The season 5 episode, Cats in the Cradle, deals with racism, from both sides of the proverbial fence. While attending a Hillman football game on a predominantly white campus, Ron and Duane are involved in a bias incident with three white students, which culminates with Ron and Duane fighting the white students as they attempt to spraypaint the word nigger on Ron's car, stopping them before they could complete the slur. They are all arrested by the campus police. They share with the campus police chief Ernie Sabella the perspectives of the incident, shown from each side. Predictably, it shows drastically different takes. The racist act by the white students is not alone, however, as Duane is guilty of the same prejudice by assuming the white campus chief is racist. 
Poignantly, the ending scene find both parties returning to the parking lot where the altercation started, only to find that some unknown other person or persons finished spray painting the nigger slur on the car. This episode features one of actor Dean Cain's earliest television appearances. The season 5 episode, Love Taps, dealt with domestic violence. Gina has been dating an up-and-coming rapper named Dion, a.k.a. I'm Down, played by Edafe Blackman, who many of the students admire, including Terence. When Lena suspects that Dion has been beating up on Gina, who is sporting a black eye, she confronts her about it, but Gina makes excuses for Dion's rages and tells Lena to back off. Lena confides in Kim about Gina's situation. Kim informs Lena that some things should not be kept secret. Eventually, Dion's reputation is spread all over campus. After having a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Whitley and engaging in a confrontation with Dion in front of Terence who has called the police, Gina finally decides to press assault charges against him. Various episodes in the last two seasons of the series referenced contemporary high-profile cases of sexual harassment, such as the Clarence Thomas and Eta Hill hearings. In the episode, Bedroom at the Top, Whitley is sexually harassed at her new job by an executive. The Anita Hill hearings also are mentioned in the episode, The Little Mister in which Dwayne dreams about the 1992 elections imagining himself as Hillary Clinton, while Whitley is Bill. The season 6 premiere includes Whitley and Dwayne's recounting of their honeymoon in Los Angeles, during which four white police officers who were on trial for the videotaped beating of African-American motorist Rodney King were acquitted of state criminal charges, sparking the 1992 Los Angeles riots. Actors Roseanne Barr and Tom Arnold, comedian Gilbert Gottfried and rapper Sister Soldier made cameo appearances in this two-part episode, in Homie, Don't You Know Me, one of the lost episodes. From season six, rapper Tupac Shakur portrays Lena's Jada Pinkett old boyfriend from back home. The two bump heads over Lena's new college attitude. Not to mention her new boyfriend Dorian Bumper Robinson. This is one of the few television sitcom appearances made by Tupac, though his appearance was more serious than the show's tone itself. The season 4 episode, If I Should Die Before I Wake, dealt with the AIDS epidemic. It featured actress Tisha Campbell Martin as Hillman student Josie, who reveals during a class project that she has contracted the disease from a former boyfriend and would probably die shortly after graduating college. Because of the reveal, some of the students, including Gina and Terence, start to treat Josie as an outcast by either covering their face around her or refusing to have her serve food at the pit. Their attitudes towards Josie change after being chastised by Kim and Mr. Gaines. The dialogue also causes Whitley, who was still a virgin, to put off a sexual relationship with Dwayne. Whoopi Goldberg stars as the professor who conducts the class. <laughs> Topic. Connections to The Cosby Show As a show developed by Bill Cosby for a character from The Cosby Show, A Different World had many connections to its parent program, even before the latter program was created. The third season finale of The Cosby Show, entitled, Hillman, was essentially a pilot episode for the new show. The theme song was co-written by Stu Gardner, Bill Cosby, and Dawn Lewis, who was also a cast member. In the online interviews related to the 2006 Hillman College Reunion, 
Lewis revealed that her being approached to write the song and to audition were two separate events that occurred within a short time of each other, such that she thought it was a practical joke by her friends. The song was performed by Phoebe Snow in season 1, then by Aretha Franklin in seasons 2 through 5, and Boys Two Men and Terence Forsyth in season 6. The spin-off program featured many appearances by characters from the parent program, especially in the initial season, in which Denise's father Cliff Bill Cosby, mother Claire Filisha Richard, younger sisters Vanessa Tempest Bledsoe and Rudy, brother Theo Malcolm Jamal Warner, and grandfather Russell Earl Hyman all appeared on the show, either at Hillman or at the other end of a phone call. Denise's departure from Hillman after season one did not stop her mother from reappearing on the show. Three of Filisha Richard's four appearances as Hillman alumna Claire Huxtable took place after season one, and in one of these, she brought her younger daughter Vanessa to tour the college. Sandra was the only Huxtable child not to appear on the show. Martin Joseph C. Phillips and Olivia Raven Simone appear in season 3 episode Forever Hold Your Peace along with Phylicia Richard and Lisa Bonnet Elvin Jeffrey Owens and Pam Erica Alexander also never appeared on the show Producer director Debbie Allen is the real life sister of Phylicia Richard Allen made one guest appearance on The Cosby Show, playing an aggressive aerobics instructor who helps Claire slim down for a special occasion. Allen appeared in later seasons in a recurring role as Whitley's psychiatrist. Dwayne and Whitley also visited the Huxtable home in an episode featuring the revelation that Denise had married and would not return to Hillman. A young Kadeem Hardison appeared on The Cosby Show as one of Theo Huxtable's friends in the first season episode, A Shirt Story, though not playing Dwayne. Sinbad also appeared on The Cosby Show as a car salesman in third season episode, Say Hello to a Goodbye. A Hillman alumna by the name of Louise Sujay was mentioned on both Cosby and A Different World by Claire Huxtable, Whitley Gilbert and her mother Marion. Like Lisa Bonnet, Karen Melina White brought her Cosby show character to Hillman. Charmaine was the best friend of Claire Huxtable's cousin Pam Tucker. White's Cosby Show co-star Alan Payne turned down an offer to bring his role as Charmaine's boyfriend Lance Rodman to a different world as a regular during season six, preferring instead to pursue a movie career. He and Jada Pinkett starred in the 1994 film Jason's Lyric, which is considered to be a milestone in both their careers. Payne did appear in one episode during season 5 in which Charmaine visits Hillman as a prospective student, bringing Lance along to see if he can gain admission as well. When Charmaine arrives at Hillman, she and Lance are maintaining a long-distance relationship and he is mentioned in multiple episodes. Lance and Charmaine later break up over the phone. Years later, Tempest Bledsoe, who played Vanessa on Cosby, and Daryl M. Bell, who played Ron on A Different World, became a real-life couple and co-starred on the 2009 Fox reality channel series House Husbands of Hollywood. Topic: <laughs> Hillman College. Hillman College is a fictional, historically black college, founded in 1881 and located in the Commonwealth of Virginia. The exact locality of the school is never revealed, but several geographic references are made which allude to the campus either being located somewhere in the Hampton Roads area or in the Roanoke metropolitan area. The school's motto is Deus Nondum Te Confecit, which literally translates from Latin to, God has not yet finished. The school colors are maroon and gray. 
Visual shots of the Hillman campus that were used in the series were actually filmed at two real-life black colleges, Clark Atlanta University and Spelman College, both in Atlanta, Georgia. The first references to Hillman on The Cosby Show were made during Season 1, when it is mentioned as the place where Cliff Huxtable and Claire Hanks went to school while they were engaged. Cliff's father Russell is also a Hillman alumnus. The school made its first on-screen appearance in the third season finale of The Cosby Show, titled, Hillman, when Cliff and Claire and their family attend a Hillman commencement ceremony which also honored a retiring professor. <laughs> Hillman College Reunion In August 2006, Nick at Night aired a week-long marathon showing episodes of A Different World. Lisa Bonnet, Dawn Lewis, Jasmine Guy, Kadeem Hardison, Daryl M. Bell, Cree Summer, and Sinbad reunited for short vignettes that provided a glimpse of the current state of their characters. Nick at Night's Hillman College Reunion Website added details beyond those shown on television. Reception Ratings Critics say that A Different World benefited from airing between The Cosby Show and Cheers on Thursday night, however, the show consistently ranked first or second among African American viewers during most of its run. Topic media reaction The Hollywood Reporter is quoted as stating that when Debbie Allen became the producer and usually director of A Different World after the first season, she transformed it, from a bland Cosby spin-off into a lively, socially responsible, ensemble situation comedy. The Museum of Broadcast Communications states that Debbie Allen, a graduate of historically black Howard University, drew from her college experiences in an effort to accurately reflect in the show the social and political life on black campuses. Moreover, Allen instituted a yearly spring trip to Atlanta where series writers visited three of the nation's leading black colleges, Clark Atlanta, Morehouse and Spelman. During these visits, ideas for several of the episodes emerged from meetings with students and faculty. On August 23 and 24, 2012, Debbie Allen, the former chief creative force of A Different World from 1988 to 1993, wrote on Twitter that she wants to reboot A Different World. Over a million people on Facebook, Twitter, and blogs reacted to the tweet and approved the potential reboot. Topic. Impact on African American culture Because of Debbie Allen's influence as the producer and usually director of A Different World after the first season, African American youth who watched the show often cite it as a defining reason why many of them decided to attend a historically black college or university. Topic. Home media Urban Works released Season 1 of A Different World on DVD in Region 1 on November 8, 2005. Several release dates for a Season 2 DVD were announced May 2006, July 2006, and September 2006, but the DVD was never released. Urban Works was acquired by First Look Studios in early 2006. The distribution rights for the series have since reverted to the production company, Carsey Werner Productions. See also 
Historically black colleges and universities List of highest rated television pilots on September 24, 1987, the pilot episode of A Different World became the highest rated television pilot in history.